Hey, how's it going? I am Will and you're watching Iron Will, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. Now, so far with this channel, I've been making videos each week, which are kind of, uh, they've got information about triathlon, about endurance events and activities, that sort of thing. But I haven't really been following up too much about what is happening in my training. So what I'm going to be starting to introduce in today's episode one of it is a sort of weekly vlog of what I'm doing in my training and what I'm not doing in my training that I probably should be doing and just following myself along. So I'm now going to be making two videos a week. This will be one of them and the other one will be the standard sort of information about triathlon video. So what I've done this week, well, I haven't been doing nearly as much running as I should be doing. So in uh, September, yeah, September, I've got the Blackmores Marathon, which I'm going to try and set the Guinness World Record title for fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform in Kung Fu slippers. So that's about now 11 weeks away from today. So I really should be doing a bit more training um, and I haven't been doing nearly as much as I should have. Uh, although. I have earlier on this week, so Tuesday, Wednesday, I ran into work and back, so that was about 10k each day. Um, and then I started to come down with a recurrence of something I had last year, sinusitis, which is not fun. That's where like the sinuses, which are supposed to drain the fluid from inside your face, get blocked for whatever reason, and they start to cause headaches and infection and that sort of thing. So that came back on Thursday. So I cut out my running on Thursday and Friday um, and Saturday as well. And today got back into running. Um, so I went to the doctor yesterday on antibiotics. I'm taking uh, painkillers for the headaches. I'm taking antihistamines, all that sort of thing. And the reason why I have sinusitis, I know pretty much certain, is back in 2013 when I was cycling to work I had a collision with a car and I pretty much went through the rear windshield hitting the left hand side of my face and when last year I first had sinusitis they did a CT scan of my head and found that there was a bit of a bone spur in some of the sinus cavities inside my face so that unfortunately if I come down with heavy hay fever or something like that can block up the sinuses and cause sinusitis. Anyway, enough with the heavy stuff. So this week I've done 18 kilometers and then today I did a 16 kilometer run. Uh, and I'm going to be, I've done all of these runs with a jumper. So today I wore a long sleeve jumper, very sweaty, even though it's winter, still very sweaty. And my long pants, uh, skins, tights, normally I, will actually be running in my Kung Fu uniform. Uh, so in the actual Kung Fu pants. Uh, but I also run as often as I can in my Kung Fu slippers. Today, of course, I ran in Vibram Five Fingers simply because when I run too much in the Kung Fu slippers, I wear them out. The VFFs tend to last a lot longer. It's an absolutely cracking day for a run today. Uh, sun is out. It's not too hot, but it's still, it's not too cold either. It's a really nice day for a run. And where I live in Leichhardt, in the inner west of Sydney, uh, one of the main things that I run around is the Bay Run. So it's around sort of a bay, and it's about a 7K loop. So I, it's about one kilometer for me to get to the Bay Run, and I run that twice, and then run home. It's a really nice run. And the problem is there are so many people on the Bay Run, of course, because it's a beautiful run. So everyone wants to do it, whether they're running it, walking it, cycling it, on scooters, on skateboards, on whatever. So it can get a bit busy at times, but it's still an absolutely amazing run. And I finally started to be able to show off my tattoo a little bit more, uh, since it's pretty much healed now. So it's about, what is it, four weeks, three, four weeks, something like that in since I got it done. So yeah, it's not 100% healed. Uh, it's still the layers underneath. I still it's probably healing a little bit, but it's enough that now I can show it a bit more. But of course, if I was to have it out in the sun, I'd have to lather it in sunscreen. You gotta watch out for sun on tattoos. That just makes them fade like crazy. And I've also started to get back into Kung Fu this week. I'm trying to. It's tough. Work is so busy and I'm trying to find time for running as well. 
but I've got to try and get back into my Kung Fu practice. Uh, so this Saturday, yesterday, I was there for three, four hours, four hours at Kung Fu. So I teach in the first class, um, or I assist in, assist teaching. And then I do Kung Fu in the second class. And then we had an instructor's class after that, which went for an hour and a half. And then just general practice for half an hour. So yeah, that's what's happened this week. Um, next week, I'm going to try and increase my running load even more, try and run six out of the seven days. Uh, one of the main things that stopped me running this week, especially on the Monday, was it was bucketing down with rain. It shouldn't be raining this next week though, so all should be good. And I'll be getting back into the kilometers I need to be covering so that I can build up my body to last for a three hour 30 marathon in Kung Fu slippers and a Kung Fu uniform. Thanks for watching episode one of my new weekly vlog. Uh, if you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.